Girl, what are you doing? I'm getting ready. What is happening here? What is all this curling iron business? Why are we doing this? Oh, it's not taking that long. Calm down. Okay. Well, anyway, what's up, guys? And welcome back to the vlog. It is 7 o'clock a.m. You guys just saw a nice time lapse. That was like probably an hour long, close to maybe like 45 minutes uh, from pretty much 6.15 till 7. Uh, what a beautiful day we have ahead. I believe we are going to be taking a taxi or like a shuttle from the Four Seasons. We are going to be going straight across to a no base. And then from there, we are going to be renting a car for a few hours. We're going to drive around Bora Bora, which I think takes like 25 to 35 minutes. I'm not sure exactly how long it is, but we're just going to kind of drive around. The main point is that we want to get some drone shots. So we're going to get some drone shots of like this hotel and some of the other areas where like yesterday you guys may have seen it went from like the super bright water to the super dark water. It has that line that's really cool. So I want to get some cool shots of that. And then we're going to have lunch at Bloody Mary's hopefully. That's like a, a really famous, really well-known lunch spot on the island. And then we're going to come back here and hang out at the resort today, do some jumping off the balcony, just overall have a grand old time. So this should be good. Check out these guys over here going into work right now. They've got this crazy little like barge thing. So one of the, the wings of the Four Seasons, like one of the pontoons is being worked on. And it's really nice because we haven't heard a thing. Like I, I seriously, I haven't heard anything. There's no like construction noise or anything like that. Like you can see a couple of the rooms from the outside are definitely being worked on and being remodeled and updated. But um, we got a credit of $100 per day uh, at the resort because of that. You know what I mean? Like everybody who stays here right now gets a hundred dollars extra per day to spend on a variety of different like excursions or your meals or whatever else the options are. So it's kind of cool because we get to see workers going around. It's kind of funny, but it's, it's not, not like not it. Bothering us at yeah, all. it doesn't impact the experience at all. And we get a free hundred bucks per day. So that's pretty solid. So our boat comes at nine. Yep. Right there, right? Yeah. It should should come pick us up right here. It's crazy because I just I texted the concierge through the app and they just like made everything happen. They called Avis, changed our reservation, set it up to p be picked up in a new place. Like it's crazy. it's crazy the the strings they can pull. But um, we're here on the bridge and we're just watching the fish. I'm pretty sure you can get fish food and feed them because well, that's why they're that. all hanging out right here. Look at this. It's a river of fish. It goes all the way back. That's so they're cute. all so hungry. <laughs> they're so friendly here. I'm sorry guys, we don't have food. We need to figure out how to get food. Wow, look at that one. Oh, he's cool. So obviously we did a lot of snorkeling yesterday, yep. but I think we're gonna have to snorkel. Wow, look at that guy. We're gonna have to snorkel this lagoon today. Yeah. It looks so incredible. It it's fed by the ocean, it comes in. And then there's also a second area that goes back over there. According to Nicholas, the guy that picked us up the first day here, yeah. the one back there, the little back alley that's kind of hard to get into, that's the spot you want to go. So we're going to check it out probably today, maybe tomorrow. Look at this guy down here. All the other little ones are kind of getting in the way, but he's like, if he's like three feet long. I know, he kind of looks like a fish, but he's a fish. No, nope, he's just a fish. He's not really swimming, but he's still a fish. So it's hot. Um, we're currently out here trying to shoot this bridge. Hold on, Chels. Uh, but we have to wait for every time like a worker or other guests walk by. Because we want this to be like a completely open shot. You know what I mean? Like nobody else there, like you're the only person on the planet. So this, this is a part of it, just waiting. But this is the best view I've ever seen. How are you feeling about the working conditions this morning? I don't want to talk to you right now. Look at that beautiful bride coming down the thing. Bet she's so happy. I hate you so much. So to add salt to the wound, we've had to wait here for a while because there was like a big train of people. Somebody would always be going by and obviously we don't want other people in our shots. There hasn't been any people in a long time, but this bride and groom are having a photo shoot in the exact spot 
that we were or using. we need to work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is about the most first world problem we've ever had, but it's really frustrating. So the wedding shoot was there, which, I mean, that's fine. I'm not worried about that at all. It's their special day. I hope they have awesome pictures. Now, as soon as they left, there is a little kid who took an entire loaf of bread from the buffet, like a foot long loaf. Like a French and he, loaf. He is feeding the fish right where we want to shoot. Are you kidding me? Well, now he's just using it as a hammer. <laughs> Met a super nice couple I that got that last them. clip of us. <laughs> oh my gosh. They were super cool. They were actually over on the mainland where we're heading now yesterday. So they gave us a couple of pro tips and they told us where Chelsea can get some really good legit pearls that aren't marked up to resort prices. So that's kind of exciting. Yeah, I'm excited about Gonna that. Gonna have to go check that out. But now it's like 40 minutes later. It took us a while to be able to get that shot, but I think it was worth it. And uh, it's time for our boat ride. So um, this is the main island of Bora Bora. We've been on like a little private motu this entire yeah. time. And now we're here. It's beautiful and quiet. They said that the representative from Avis was gonna be here to pick us up. I don't know who they are, how we're supposed to contact them or how we're gonna meet them, but hopefully we can find them. We made it, girl. We're here. Oh my goodness, so we have our map. We've got our Fiat Panda, which I've never driven one of these, but uh, it looks pretty cool. It's stick shift as well. I don't think they believe in automatics here, but that's fine. So we are currently down here on the south tip of Bora Bora, and I think we're just going to do a clockwise motion. We came in on the boat up here, and then she drove us down to the rental spot. Yeah. I think we're going to go around this way, because that's where all the action is, and then we're going to return the car up here, just leave it in a parking lot, and then boat back over. So uh, this down here is Matira Beach. That's like the big, fancy, gorgeous beach. Yeah. This is Vayatape, which is the main town. Probably get like a little bit of breakfast or lunch there. Maybe shop for some pearls. Hopefully. And then they have all kinds of viewpoints all throughout. So it should be kind of an interesting couple of hours. Yep. We're not gonna spend too long here, but we're gonna try to make the most of it. As soon as we got to the beach, we were interrupted by a local photographer. And she had some really interesting ideas for poses. I feel like some of them turned out pretty well. But going back and editing this, it kind of almost seemed like this could have been a proposal spot. I definitely thought there was Did you really? I th you told me no, and I thought maybe yes. Oh my, okay, I feel a little bit bad. I wasn't <laughs> thinking about that in the moment, but looking back, I'm like, I totally could have just had somebody hired. I could have pretended we didn't know her. Yeah. That could have been it. That's what I thought. Sorry, babe. So yeah, as I was saying before, this is Matira Beach. Honestly... The sand is uh, not the best part. No. I was expecting like a big thick beach. There is a little bit more of a traditional beach there and then we have the seawall here. But uh, it's just, I mean, it looks like we're standing in like water from home, like tap water. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's that clear. We saw a stingray swim by a minute ago. This is absolutely gorgeous and it goes for just about as far as you can see. Yeah, that's the crazy part. But unfortunately, we had limited time, so we had to keep it moving. Next up, we headed to Vaitape in search of a pearl salesman that someone recommended to us. So we made it. We are here in Vaitape, which is like the main city. Yeah. But I wanted to point out, I don't think this thing has door locks. There are no buttons on the doors. There's no lock up here. There are no door lock buttons over here anywhere. I have never been in a car that doesn't have locks. Yeah, it's kind of nerve wracking. I mean, it makes me nervous, but I guess that also says a good thing about the people here. I guess. So we, we literally drove through the entire town looking for parking. Like we, it, it yeah. took like two minutes and we were looking for a parking spot. And we realized, oh crap, we're on the outskirts. So we're going to walk back in here. Going to try to find that Pearl Factory, Pearl oh, Person, whatever it is. Apparently 
to that couple that took that video for us. They said he's basically just like selling them out of his house, but he's super legit. He has nothing but five star reviews on TripAdvisor and stuff. So we're gonna go try to find that and get her a pearl. So we have the Tahiti Pearl Market. We've got Baldini Pearls right next to it. We've got Hina Pearls right there. We've got Tahia Pearls right there. I don't even know where to begin. Instead of going to the ones out on the main strip, this is the one we were told to go to. This is the one. La Pearl de Maimiti. Okay, well, we're just going to go down this sketchy alley and see what happens. There's, there's a cat down here. She's pretty young, isn't she? She's small. Good girl. We'll see you later. Somebody's jamming in there. Yeah, for real. All right, this is kind of cool. So one thing that's always interesting is like, obviously Bora Bora is known as like this luxury travel destination, but we're always curious as to how the locals live and if it's like poverty just outside of where the tourists are, cause we hate that. But yeah. honestly, it's not that bad here. Yeah, I think it's just like, it's island life, so nothing is ever as pristine as we're right. used to in the States. Some of the houses are going to be run down because of the storms and the rain and everything like that. But, but then looking at like possessions and things, you can Boats tell and happy. trampolines and all yeah. kinds of stuff. So it seems like it's, it's not too bad here, hopefully. Tahiti is known for its black pearls because it's one of the only places on earth you can find them. This place was definitely worth the recommendation. It had less of a markup than normal places and the guy was super honest and very, very nice. Honestly, I'm jealous of his gig. I mean, he just has a little jewelry store that he makes all this pearl jewelry in his backyard, sells it off his porch. For real. Makes probably bank. I mean, we spent like 500 bucks there. She got a really nice ring and then we also got a necklace for my mom and some earrings for her mom. Yeah. So we've got a little gift to bring them back from Tahiti. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Pretty, pretty cool. No, Good that stuff. Was legit. Highly recommend. That was cool. Yeah, if you guys ever come here, he's probably the place to go. He was keeping it really real, letting us know about like what kind of markups some of the other places do, especially the resorts and then like all yeah. the other main kind of you know places out here on the main street. But um, he wasn't trying to hide anything. He was pointing out the flaws. Oh yeah. The ones that we were looking she at. she picked up one, and he's like, now keep in mind this one does have a flaw here on the back side. Use the magnifying glass. You can see where it is. And it's like it was very clear that he was like passionate about what he did. Yeah. And he wanted people to feel like they got a good deal. So that was pretty cool. I think we're gonna head back to the car now. We're gonna keep driving around the island. Uh, I want to get over to the north side where we can drone the Four Seasons, and then I think we're gonna be heading back. Yeah. That was some of the best drone footage ever. I wish we had a little bit more time. I wish we could have stopped a couple more places. Unfortunately, the pearls were kind of kind of important. Sorry. But um, it's uh, 1228 right now. You guys can see 1230 to 1245 is our pickup back at the dock. It should be just down the street. Let's head back to the hotel. Goodbye, old girl. You treated us well. Couple that hours was pretty at cool. Least. I liked it. I feel like the uh, the mini Jeep was a little bit more fun to be honest. I wish we could have got one of these. You see these everywhere yeah, over those here. Are cool. And would you look at that? Right on time. Our boat is here, girl. We literally just got here at 12:30. It was like flawless timing. What'd you think, girl? Time well spent. That was worth it. For that was her. good. It was a fun little day trip. I kind of wish we would have had a, a bit more time, but there's still a lot we want to do around here. Yeah and we only have the rest of today and tomorrow left. So oh, wow. kind of wanted, wanted to maximize that. So I think we're gonna go back to the room and I think we're gonna do pretty much what we did yesterday. We're gonna order some food. We're gonna hang out in the pool and in the water while it comes and we'll see where the night takes us. I don't know, I kind of want to go snorkeling. Seems like yeah. a pretty good day for it. This water's looking beautiful. Definitely what do you think about snorkeling. that? We have our dinner, our fancy, fancy dinner today, Oh, right? tonight's our anniversary dinner at Adi Moana or something like that. It's like their big fancy like five-star dining. So really cool. it does look good. We're gonna have to check that out for sure. I always knew you were good at uh, blowing. <laughs> Life is great. Gotta love it when my girl is blowing my 
pineapple on the deck of our hut in Bora Bora. Oh my gosh. I'm about to dig into that soup, so you better hurry up. They bring it to your table in the back, set it up for you, ask you to sit down before they even leave and they go and shut the door yeah, it's like by themselves. Service. It really is. It's like this is our own little restaurant here. Oh, this looks so good. This is the tomato soup. Again, prices are kind of crazy. It's 25 bucks. Yeah. But honestly, it looks really, really good. It comes with the croutons and the dried tomatoes in there. It's a much fancier soup than expected. Both got the carbonara because it's actually, it's bigger than it looks. These plates are pretty deep yeah. and it's super, super good. So we got good. that. I think they just gave us some extra grilled chicken, chicken for no reason. We've got tons of bread, Parmesan cheese. And oil for the bread. This oil. <sighs> Looks so good. We're gonna dig in. After lunch, we wanted to get some shots on the back deck of our bungalow. Chels had a really cool idea for me jumping backwards and it turned out to be a cool picture, but it came with a price. Trevor just did an epic jump for an epic shot. It was my idea and he's not doing well now. Are you okay? How does that happen? <laughs> I'm in vomit. That's not funny actually. My nuts hit the water first. <laughs> How is that even possible? I don't know. Are you actually okay though? <laughs> Poor guy. Sorry honey. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it took me a minute to shake that one up, but uh, overall, we had a great time. I think we got some good stuff. It was very successful. Instagram is a lie. Yes. I mean, these, these are cool shots that we're getting here, but you guys can see we've been hanging out, just kind of setting these things up. It doesn't really happen naturally, but it's fun. I don't know. You guys enjoy seeing the pictures afterwards and we have fun doing it. Yeah, so. no, it's fun. I mean, we're just like hanging out with each other. Yeah. So that's nice. Just keep in mind, whenever you see stuff like this on our Instagram or anybody else's, it doesn't actually like really truly happen like that. But um, yeah, you guys can see the sun is starting to go down a little bit. We're starting to get there. We're starting to lose that bright, beautiful blue. It's still here for a little bit but uh it's definitely gonna start going away here soon i'm excited though we're gonna have a really good dinner tonight the four seasons treated us so big shout out to them it's our four-year anniversary dinner i'm really excited it should be fun and uh in the meantime we're just gonna keep swimming and and doing whatever there wasn't a whole lot to see off of the bungalows but it gets much better in the lagoons we visit in the next video we swam off the dock for a bit and then it was off to dinner Dang, girl. Hello. You clean up pretty nice. Oh, thanks. Look at that. She's still waiting on her hair to dry, but we figured rather than sitting in the room and kind of using the hair dryer or whatever else, I think we're going to go to the pool bar. We're yes. going to grab like a little, a little pre-dinner celebration drink to four years. Good stuff, bro. We've killed it for four years. It's, it's been fun. Really enjoyed it, man. Dude, you're the, you're the best. You're, you're my homie. Ow. Come on, let's dab up. Let's dab up. I don't uh, know that what No, you gotta this. dab. You gotta dab. Like that, flick the thumb, poof, explode it, boom, four years. And now we're breaking up. Best friends. <laughs> We're currently here. We just ordered a bottle of wine. We are sharing a crazy steak meal yeah, for it dinner. Really good. It looks really, really good. And we can hear the ocean crashing just in front of us. Happy four years. Again, I love you, bro. Take it easy. Chill. Whatever, dude. This is going to be a great night. Oh my gosh. We have this huge, huge steak. Peppercorn sauce, mushroom sauce, asparagus, black truffle potatoes, a Bordeaux. Oh, this is perfection. So dinner was amazing. 
Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever been more full in my entire life. Oh, I feel god awful. I hope you can't see me. In this. <laughs> oh my god, like spilling over the sides. I yeah. am too. Like I'm, I'm glad I didn't wear a belt because I'd be in I trouble. I keep trying to pull my two pieces together so I like, can't see my belly. <laughs> they asked. They were like, Mr. and Mrs. Martin, would you like a, a cart, a ride back to your room? And we're like, no, we'll walk it off. We're good. Kind of a funny thing. I'm not too upset about it because it was our anniversary dinner and I'm, I'm fine with splurging. But we had looked at the wine menu and we ordered a bottle of wine and we ordered a 2016 Bordeaux which those of you guys who know wines Bordeaux is kind of like an upper echelon like area that wines come from yeah. and so the Bordeaux was a, a splurge like a 2016 is not the nicest one but it was a nice wine and we ended up getting a 2005 Bordeaux that was by the same name now we didn't point to this 2005 but it had the same name so I understand how the mix-up happened oh. It also happened to be five times more expensive than we expected, so it was kind of unfortunate, but I guess happy anniversary to us, Guys, right? this accidental wine cost as much as my pearl. Oh, it, was, it was pretty bad, but it's, it's okay. We're just going to take it in stride. I mean, you've seen the room they've upgraded us to. I have no problem. Like, if we had to buy that bottle of wine to make up for the karma of getting this room, like, it's totally worth it. So God. it was a great dinner, fantastic food, really, really good service. Like, seriously, top notch. The food here has been the best food that we have had. Like, even by Orlando standards. Oh, like it has been fantastic. so good. So I'm not too upset by it. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is another very dark ending where you can barely see our faces, but uh, we are gonna see you guys tomorrow for our final day, just kind of enjoying the resort. So hope you guys look forward to that. We'll see you guys in our final video tomorrow. Yay.